good morning students in this session uh, we understand dylan thomas do not go gentle into that night i am jyoti kb assistant professor government first grade college kuppi this poem is a contemporary poem which discusses about the theme of death now the poet dylan thomas father is about to die he is on his deathbed and as a son he feels passionate about his father and he requests he advises his father to fight death and not give up to the uh, challenge of death he wants his father to fight bravely against death and he describes and pictureizes the power of power strength vibrancy and the energy of human life the whole poem is an expression of human strength energy and will power against the permanent truths of life now as we get into the poem the poem encourages the dying the sick and the elderly to fight bravely against death the poem poem also celebrates the vibrancy and energy of human life even though life is fragile and short Now this poem is written by Dylan Thomas. He was born in nineteen fourteen in Britain. He is famous for his acute lyrical and emotional poetry. The first stanza of the poem is an advice to his father, such as a request to his father. He says, "Do not go gentle into that night." that is to say you don't accept whatever is happening to your life as it comes in your way don't give up so take your own energy come collect your strength together and fight against these universal forces uh, he says resist resist the un oncoming darkness of your death so this is the cheer up message which a son gives to his father on his death bed now he says fighting against these universal truths struggle against these truths is not only felt by his father but every human being on earth feels this kind of an urge now he says not only his father struggles against death different kind of people on earth fight against death in the first stanza he talks about how wise men also fight against death they know that death is final but they nevertheless combat it because they haven't left enough of a mark on the world so they think that they have with their wisdom they have not yet enlightened the world and there is a long way to go for them to enlighten the world with their intelligence and wisdom then he talks about the good men who also fight against death because despite their virtue their deeds remain weak and haven't stood out sufficiently as a strong massive wave in a calm bay would that is to say at the point of death even good men realize that whatever deeds they have done on the earth are not sufficient to uh, uplift to empower humanity and there is a lot needs to be done for them and they need to live a little more time to complete their work and then he also talks about how his father then he talks about the grave men 
grave men are serious men who realize that they can die dramatically blaze like meteors by refusing to yield to death. In their old age, they have a clarity that escaped them when they were younger, now able to see with blinding sight or understanding things with piercing lucidity. So in this situation, they need to do a little more work in this world. So they need to do a little more serious and grave work in this world. So this is the state of mind for or even grave men. Then he talks about another type of people who are wild. He calls them as wild men because they have enjoyed life joyously and happily. Still they feel that they need the life has is too short and they have to continue living a few more years because in it, because their work seemed to them as a very weak work and at least after this realization that their work is something joyous, something light and frivolous, if they have little more time, they would continue to do some serious work. So all kinds of people, all types of people, wild men, grave men, wise men and good men are struggling to live for a few more years at the point of their death. So this is common for all human beings. So when this is the case, he urges his father, Dylan Thomas urges his father that he should, he too should fight against death. So he says, and you, dad, are close to death, as if on the peak of a mountain, burden and gift me with your passionate emotions. I pray to you, do not go peacefully into the welcoming night of death. Resist the oncoming darkness of your death. So when this is the situation, death is inevitable, but there is every opportunity for a dying man to resist the onslaught of immediate death if he is ready to fight death fiercely and bravely. So this is the message which the poet wants to give uh, to his readers. So nam gottiro hage death na horata marbeko death na heg banto hage tagundu Resist the oncoming darkness of your death. Nina Savina Katalanu Nino Niantrisu control Mado the Ke Prime Mado Jivan Tavagiro Jiva Ulsko Ulskolo Pretna Mado Matte Chaterke and Parko Nino in a willpower alia Shakti Tre Deha Kuda Matan Kirute Anodana Message and Ye Patiadali Dylan Thomas Oru Mutis Taidare. So Mundina sessionally E poem na critical appreciation and now Madonna E Gaidana Arta Marcondi. PPT Mulkanabu, Artha Markondi Rodana. Next session, analysis zoom at the critical appreciation and Mardaga, Namgechanagi, either Bagge, Chugotagate. So, Ide part of the Bagge Nimge, Inundu session at Linano, Nimge critical appreciation, Mado Dra Bagge, Herkurtaitini. So, Aga Ginivo, Mundina session and Nunivo. Careful lagi, kaid it kundu, other nodidre, nimge, answers and a barriodakis, hakariagate.